Hello, all. What's your problem, kid? You think that's funny? Hello, all. Welcome to No Enemies Here, the show where I'm going to read you a letter from Kurt, Kurt of ID Jester. And you know what? I'm going to read this, but put in your mind, he's not being sarcastic. He's not being uh, uh, mean or he doesn't want to be belligerent. This is a cool letter. So I said, Kurt, how's it going, right? And Kurt says, it's going just lovely, man. He's starting his top 100 board games of all time tonight. That was yesterday, 8 p.m. Eastern time on a channel, which I'm going to rank all of my sports, war, and board games into a master list of the top 100, which, is, excuse me, which I think is pretty cool. So it says, this has taken a lot of my time lately, which he's been prepping for for six months, and now it's here. Go check it out. And, and more and more people know that the amount of work that goes into uh, doing a stable and relatively, well, successful, what's successful? Relatively um, niche or not niche YouTube channel. Um, takes a lot of work takes a lot of effort everybody you're you're always thinking about it because you want to make it better you want to make the people happy it's a show there we're entertainers we're here to entertain that's the way we feel as much as as hams as we could be it's all in fun and you know what it's way better than watching television so he's currently at 119 plays of 77 different board games just in 2023 and he says as you probably have seen each week on your video show yes and and thanks for including me on that absolutely I'll, I'll include anybody that has content which is viewable and uh talks about war games and other stuff you know but i mean mainly it's got to be war game you got to be a a war gamer to for me to feature you because this is what the show is all about right and ba, 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 ba. it's fun to see him watch his week as you struggle to get all my games in in one screenshot. Yeah, and Ruff complains. Ruff, Ruffy. He's always complaining. Uh, each week because a screenshot doesn't include the war room because there's too many, too many uh, videos that ID Jester does. This guy does a lot of videos, man. So shut up, Ruff, huh? Will ya? Um, the, the war room is always happening. Love those guys. And uh, da, 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 da. so everyone complains he's doing too much. He, that ID is doing too much. And I say, hell no. Everyone else just ain't doing enough. Huh? He says, besides that, health wise, he's been okay. Adjusting his, uh, his stuff because he was having some issues you know and not as bad so great he's doing better and um the only thing that makes him happy is when he orders new games come on there's other things that make you happy there kurt shut up he get like he gets like five packages a week and um whatever then he says which i'm in total agreement with you only have one life man so my advice, Kurt's advice, is to live it. I tell that to everybody. Hey, enjoy your time here. 
be nice. Live your life. Okay, live your life and don't be nice. Who cares? Live your life. Live it. Life is not meant to be for that for your for us, the person, to be worked to death and pay taxes and oh my god, seriously, man. Enjoy life, okay? And he says here, and me and you, we do. Well, thanks, Kurt. Other people out there, they let life come to them. Yeah. They let life dictate what happens to them. Yeah. Remember, you're in control. And for Kurt, he says here, I don't care. I do what I want every day with my life. I do the same. I don't wait anymore. And I still wait. I take and run with it. Good for you, Kurt. Even me. And he gets into and he gets me into trouble, but I guess what? And he gets him into trouble. And he says, "But guess what? I don't care. I'm God. I'm at that point in my life where, if I get into trouble, I don't care. What? You don't like it? Got lost? I didn't. I, I, I didn't hurt you. I didn't do anything to you. Get out of my way." He says, "People can either." Love to hate me, or they can hate to love me. But either way, that's fine with me. Because he doesn't care. Because he's at that point in his life where we should be when we're like 15. Who cares what people think? Who cares? Because people are going to think anyways. Right? I'm not saying who cares what people think if you did bad things. Be yourself. Be you. Right? I just wanted to read you Kurt's letter. It, it, it made me happy. So with that, we have a show for you today. We got six actual meandering mics in the house. Moscow. Well, hold on a second. Seek is in the house. He's doing Moscow 41 from Venton Wovo. And also Kilroy. Kilroy made time for me. Ah, oh, Killy. You're the best. Have a great show, peeps. And uh, don't care as much. Black Terry. I'm Grant. And we kick the show off with Tony of Tony's Board Life. Three videos this week. B-17 Flying Fortress Leader, April 1943 and May 1943. That is two videos. And one, he gives us a video on just a bit of nature. Thanks, Tony. That's really appreciated. I like that. Ruffy of Rough Swordsman War Gamer has one video this week and he does Traces of War from VUCA Simulations. And this on Rough Swordsman War Gamer is an unboxing. 
Nepotism. Hello all. Huh? On the Fokker Circus Pipe News. Two videos. One on Bankside. That is a tobacco. That is a mixture of Virginia, Perique, and, uh, for God's sakes, I forget. Mm, Burley. Burley. And then there's the Van Gogh by Ken Byron, which this tobacco gives you a chocolatey, raisin, almondy, uh, milky, bready, citrusy flavor. Eh, isn't that something? All right. Artie of Art Wolf Slayer has two videos this week. The best of World War One. This is Counter Clipping episode 119. And also, everything you want to know about war games that we're afraid to ask. With Dan and Artie, we're talking about on board new war gamers with special guest from noble knight the marketing manager jess that's right zilla blitz eight videos seven tally ho he looks at gameplay and gives you his first impressions la resistance Mike Walker game, Tiny Battle Publishing. Tiny Battle, yeah, that's right, Tiny Battle Publishing. Or is this a Flying Pigs? No, this is a Flying Pig on, on the, 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 the Flying Pig side. Gameplay and Impressions, plus Snow Runner, Black River, Getting Started, Episode 2, Scout 800, and Power Lines. Holy moly, man! Plus Votes for Women, a full playthrough. This is uh, Fort Circle Games, Episode 1, Solitaire. Then hard mode, getting it done, snow runner, hard mode career, getting it done, Michigan, episode three, plus episode two of Votes for Women and Lock and Low Tactical Digital, Heroes of the Bitter Harvest, PC War Game. It says here PC Gaming E4. Hmm, Zilla, tell me what E4 means. But episode four. Uh, no, episode four of the EP. You tell me what he means. Gimpy of the Gimpy Gamer 2 videos, Fighters in the Pacific Part 3, plus In Country Part 4. This is hardcore modern miniature combat, 200% funded. And I'm assuming this would be on Kickstarter, but knowing Gimpy, it might not be. Dad versus son, that guy from Down Under has four videos, he's back. So he's doing part seven, point two, point three, point four, and point five. This is a patrol of mission number nine in which he attacks for three episodes and then he returns to base. The squad game is Dad's Delinquents. Hello all. What did we do to deserve this? I uh, must have done something. The Tank Museum, two videos, checks out RPG 7 anti-tank chats. Cheap, effective, everywhere, the RPG 7. Plus, second best army in Ukraine. Second best army in Ukraine, question mark, evolution of tank tactics in Ukraine. I don't know if anybody's seen that video or these two tanks converge on a um, trench and they just decimate the soldiers check it out on YouTube it's it's pretty gruesome Nanguaya southeast west somewhere but he's behind me that's for sure he has 12 videos out the German 2nd infantry division attempts a breakout along the Pregel River. This is always from Der Weltkrieg. He's got other videos, Cab Ride for Charles. He's looking over a map, uh, working and making some letterhead for the game. I think he's got a new game, his game. His Tardis, AKA Tardis, AKA the Bag of Holding. Then he looks at uh, the little embosser, Just Rocks. 
goes back to Der Weltkrieg and ends with the wooden squares and shipping label paper are good material for making dot 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 you gotta check it out Manguaya the Hugh Hefner of War Games War he Road plays World War II two videos War Stories opening at Firelog Games plus Birthday Battletech Alpha Strike and Painting this guy's really into painting, man. Battletech. Eh, I never got into Battletech. On Wardy Road Plays, World War II. Combat Board Games. One video and he's looking at Tank GP by Mike Lambo. Mike Lambo is kicking. Heine. Come on, Mike. Put him out. There's Someone's going to play every of your bloody games. One guy's... All of your games, I mean to say, someone's going to play all your games. And that guy is... Kilroy was here! And he's going to film it. The Grognard of Grognards. Mark Ruggiero of Clark Commando, 1983, I think. And he looks at MMP. The Gamer's Last Chance for Victory. How to and some ramblings. Part 2 on... Clark Commando, 1983. That's right. It is that. The Dusted Game Shelf 3 videos, Unboxing Spies, Lies, and Supplies, plus Crucify a Dungeon Master in Dungeons and Dragons with feedback. And Always Make Assassins Run. Hmm. On the Dusted Game Shelf. Simple History 2 videos, military copycats who stole ideas from other countries, plus which generation has suffered the most? Uh, I don't know, but when the millennials get old enough to all have kids, they're the ones that are going to suffer, in my opinion. The kids. <laughs> yeah. Hello all! Mike Lambo, solitaire book game video I mean, YouTube video channel has two videos. He plays Tank GP playthrough, and he also does a playthrough of The Fields of Normandy 2. And again, Mike, when are you going to grant me that interview? Mike, you're starting to piss me off. I'm going to come and get you. Doesn't matter where you are. I'm there. So come on. People want to know who the hell Mike Lambo is. And I'm the guy to tell the people who the hell you are. Hell. Mauro Faina! With Il Gianizero Nero has four videos and he talks about La Battaglia del Campi Raudi. And I don't know. Oh, that's, this is a, uh, this is a Ancients game. He has two videos on that. One video on L'Attacco dei Cimbri, or, or yeah, Cimbri. That looks like an Ancients too, and in Gianni Zero Nero, L'Attacco dei Cimbri. So two videos on the Battaglia dei Campi Raudi, and two videos on L'Attacco dei Cimbri. Obviously, this is for our Italian listeners, and Mauro speaks very well Italian as he does in English. So his show can be watched, and you can ask him, I mean live, and you can ask him questions in English and he'll be glad to answer them in English. Winter Quartering has one video, the tutorial in Italian, of Napoleon's Conquest, Fellowship of Simulations. So I said, Hello all! Charles Latour of four videos, and he looks at spaceships to play a billion suns. No, they are not completely ready. That means painted. Looks at skeletons that have been done rats definitely not ready for action lots of rats and dinner his dinner there looks like cheddar cheese some decent looking looks like hungarian salami and i mean salad mm, the cheddar cheese mike is mild i say you know what i mean you got hungarian salami i would have put some black uh, black olives in there 
olive oil, obviously, and maybe a little bit of parmigiano sprinkled. Huh? Uh, Kevin Kitchens, if I'm not mistaken, on Ones Upon a Game has two videos out. Task Force Carrier Battles in the Pacific, an unboxing. Plus, Charioteer, Race for Glory in Ancient Rome, an unboxing on Ones Upon a Game. Blue Tweezers, one video out, and it's on the Compass Games game. Carrier Battles, Philippine Sea Livestream Playthrough, number four. Fanny Rob, one video, and it is War of the Ring board game playthrough, and this is a game I'm probably sure of by that wicked designer, Reiner Knizia. Doug Weed of Gamer's Closet, two videos out. Sail Ho! A playthrough and unboxing Pandemic Horizon. Or, oh, sorry, Pandemic Hot Zone, North America. I mean, how many variations of that game Pandemic can you have? I guess a lot. On Tanks Zone, one video and its best Cold War board games. <laughs> Howdy folks, it's Meandering Mike here in the Man Cave of Madness. This is my weekly channel update. Been very, very busy week not doing videos, as you can see over there. <laughs> I did one, one whole video. Why have I been so busy not doing videos? It's because I've been doing a game design course. Some of you have asked, what is this course that you're taking? It's from Central Michigan University. It's an online course. It's part of a certificate programming in implied game design be taught by Liz Davidson. Some of you have heard of her. She is a YouTuber. She does the Beyond Solitaire podcast. Yes, she has interviewed many different uh, prominent game designers. And in fact, during our course, we had David Thompson and Volkerunke as guest speakers. So my project for that course is due. It's coming up on uh, Monday, April 17th. I'm almost done. And once that's done, I'll be able to get back to making videos <laughs> again so what videos will be coming up it's going to be playthroughs of games mostly on my list of 10 games for the war rooms 10 games for 2023 people have committed to lists uh i'm gonna try to do those first now i've been talking about doing a lot of other playthroughs things like more cotter bra uh, more um blitzkrieg on the nippon expansion um other games of states of siege all those things right those will come after. I gotta get at least nine of my ten of my list done first before I start doing those. So, so other things that I've talked about, I'll get to, but I'm gonna focus on these other ones first. Uh, well, what else is on my channel right now? Also, is the game giveaway giving away a copy of Britannia. This is the version from Plastic Soldier Game Company. It's like a hundred dollar game. It's out of print. The publisher no longer has it. You cannot order it from their website. If you do deal with Plastic Soldier Company. Tam to please pay Louis Pulsiver. They owe him royalties. They need to pay him. Uh, but you can win this. So on my channel, as you know, I do a lot of game giveaways. It's easy to find it. Yeah, I got a playlist of, of giveaway videos. You go find the latest one. You subscribe to the channel. You watch the video. You like the video. You say there, hey, sign me up, and I'll pay full shipping. You got to be have an address in the U.S. You can be outside the U.S. if you're like in the Philippines and you have a freight forwarder or Canada or whatnot. As long as I can ship to U.S. address, you can join. I'm guaranteeing on this one, not more than $14 for shipping. You get three raffle tickets if you sign up. There's a way this time to get bonus raffle tickets. I have over 20 hours of Britannia content. I got a playlist with 43 Britannia videos for each of those videos. If you watch any of those, if you like it, and you make a comment, and your comment is relevant, advances the discussion, is interesting, I have a panel, myself and two other people, on April 22nd, this is when we're going to finalize this content. We're going to go through and judge those. If any of the participants of the content have made comments on those videos, and we're going to judge whoever, which ones we think is the best, you can get a bonus raffle ticket. We reserve the right not to award any uh, raffle tickets on a given video. If, you know, if no one, someone only put like a smiley face or something, whatever. 
But that means, besides your three travel tickets you can get just for signing up for the contest, you could get up to 43. You could watch all that content. You could be the best commenter. And man, you could dominate with tons and tons. You can have up to 46 travel tickets. I don't expect anyone to do that. But if you are, if you're crazy and you're committed, you could do that. Okay. So, meandering Mike, going to stop meandering about that. Sign up for the contest. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. And so that means I'm going to do another giveaway once I reach that. Probably beginning of May. Maybe I'll set it up so that it comes out by May. Maybe I'll give away some flowers, but I'll probably be giving away some games. It's May Day, but... So, so stay tuned. Uh, sign up to win the Britannia game. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. You can get notifications. You can know about the upcoming one. And I'll start pumping out more videos <laughs> starting next week after I'm done with my course. So... That's it. I'm done meandering. That's my update. So I'm going to send it back to you, Dan, and all the folks watching. No enemies here. Take care and ciao. The Soviets invaded Afghanistan in 1979. It was an incursion that would last 10 bloody years and end in the defeat and withdrawal of all Soviet forces. 85 Graveyard of Empires. A squad battles game and the successor to 65 squad battles in the jungles of Vietnam depicts exciting squad level battles between bands of Afghan Mujahideen and companies of Soviet soldiers. The game features immersive, card-driven play that stresses the fog of war. You never know what maneuver your opponent will attempt. Numerous exciting scenarios featuring historic battles. Squad-level units depicting Mujahideen infantry, Soviet line troops and Spetsnaz, as well as individual T-55-62 tanks, BMPs, Hind helicopters and more. 85 Graveyard of Empires is a highly tactical game capturing the up-close and personal fighting in a war neither the Soviet soldiers nor Afghan fighters had asked for. It's a game designed by gamers, for gamers to play, by Flying Pig Games. Hello all! Hexed and Countered! has four videos. Two of them, I should say one of them is on Band of Brothers Old Breed South Pacific playthrough part three. Two of them are on Aces of Valor, so it's a campaign playthrough part one and campaign setup and Legends of Boxing PC career mode introduction on Hexed and Countered. Smart War Games, four videos out. Barbarossa, Hirensen Kampfur Grat, Grat. Tigers on the Hunt ASL mode, Matrix Slytherine, plus a lock and load tactical digital heroes in Defiance Battle Pack number two on Steam. Military map, plan your mission, powerful tool for computer assisted digital board game, and Kursk Soviet AT Defense, Tigers on the Hunt ASL mode, Matrix Slytherine on Smart War Games this week. Storm of Steel Wargaming. Two videos out. Lord Island Visit Part 1 Great War Wargaming. Also, Lord Island Visit Part 2 to the Far East. Or Part 2 The Far East. Sorry. Eh, stuff happens sometimes. Eh, it's always stuff. On War Stories, four videos out. The first one How Allied Air Power Won the Battle of the Atlantic. Plus, How the RAF Saved Britain 13 Hours That Saved Britain. The Brutal Battle, the, that's it, The Brutal Battle to Break the Hindenburg Line. This is a World War I video and Operation Red Dawn to hunt for Salam, or I should say Saddam Hussein. U-Boater 6583 videos, unboxing Legion Games, Aces of Valor. Also another unboxing. GDW's Phase Line Smash, a 1992 game, and an unbagging Decision Games War in Europe from 1999. 
Dave of Dave's Gaming Cave has two videos, one of them concerning Panzer Grenadier, Open the Box, and the other one is Carrier Battles, Philippine Sea, Scenario 7, Part 4, oh, 930 hours. That fantastic channel that is Kings and Generals has three videos, How the Ottomans Became Sultans of Rum, oh yeah, last week I did that one. Plus, <clears throat> the return of the Chindits, Pacific War number 73, and how Russia ended Ukraine independence, early modern history. End of Ukraine independence, eh? Three minute board games, two videos, one on Autobahn in about three minutes, and votes for women in about three minutes on three minute board games. Legendary Tactics, four videos. Beyond Thunderdome, Apocalypse Road, full gameplay, full game playthrough. And how did I win this one? Race for the Galaxy playthrough. And it's a tough one for me, this one. So how was it? Apocalypse Road, first impression, review. About five minutes, that's great review time, five minutes. And five things I liked, and I th and one thing I disliked about this board game. I'll let you know which one it is, but it's written right there, and you're gonna see. And it's called Apocalypse Road. Wojnek TV has three videos out. Two of them for our Polish listeners. One of them in English, and the English one is Maki, a review. My own worst enemy. One video, The Hill of Death, Champion Hill, Turn Three. Respect, Jim Ozarkski, four videos out, but I think we, just, uh, we did this one. A Patrol to AP Back or to AP Back, AP Back, that's the way I saw it. Part three for Charlie Company. Double Blind Spearhead, part three. The Battle of Rheinhausen for Valor and Fortitude and Tank Attack at La Fiere for Fireball Forward. All this on Jim Ozarkski's great chance. These are long videos, by the way. ASL Scenario Archives, one video, and it's IR85, The Good Shepherd. For all you ASL people who know what IR85 is, please let me know. Steve Indulges has three videos out. He, the three videos are on Prussian's Glory, uh, Torgau, the main scenario, the battle scenario, and a review. On Stephen Dolce's. ID Jester. Holy moly. Huh? Bloody hell. Um, he, he has a teach and play fighting formations with Mike Butterjelly. And he does Marvel Champions. Hawkeyes versus Crossbones versus Cyclops. Power ranking for each hero and villain. Marvel Champion user. This guy's really into this Marvel stuff. And the top 100 board games of all time, 100 to 91, by ID Jester. Lots of work done there. The Oaken Knight, the PBS, Voice of Wargaming, does the Russian Campaign, 5th edition, 1941, playthrough, part one. Little Wars TV, The Alamo, the making of a box office bomb. Really? Huh. Indian Idol's channel, World War II. Free Sevastopol, a new offensive in the, in the Crimea. April 8th, 1944. Also, do the Germans know about Operation Overlord? This is a documentary special on World War II which has 801,000 subscribers. The man who looks like a vampire, Mark Felton of Mark Felton Production, has two videos. One of them is called Marooned and Forgotten German Garrison 1945. <laughs> and Mark Felton books. Yep, this is Dr. Mark Felton, a professor at I don't know what university, but that's what it is. Jan Heinemann, the Let's Play History! Eight videos. One, two on Suzerain. One, two, three, four on The Council. And one, two on Road. 
96. These are all videos on video games, but Jan has political aspirations when he plays these games. So something's up, if I'm right. Jan Heinemann of Let's Play History. We continue East Front Month on Seek Out and Play by demonstrating Optional Rule 14.2 of Moscow 41 by Vento Nuovo Games. This video features the second edition of this operational level game and discusses the optional rule that covers the deployment of General Hepner on the German side and General Zukov on the Russian side. Check out more videos on the celebrated line of Vento Nuovo Games when you visit the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. And I will see you next Wednesday. viewers of the show you may refer to me as control six actual is on um special assignment this week and cannot be here however he has posted a video on the top five war games that he is most looking forward to playing so please check out his video and if he can elude interpol he just might be back next week and please indulge my ocd and remember to subscribe thank you the Professor Ricardo Mazzini has four videos out. Two of them are, one of them is in English, the rest are for our Italian friends, and it's on Onus Trianus. I don't know who that is. Onus Trianus. So he does an introduction, a on the table, and a conclusion. And I think it's from 3DI, or 3DI3. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, Ricardo, thanks for putting that on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dave of the Centurions Review has two videos out. Looks at Victory Point Games Caesar Extra Large Review. Plus, he's with his friend Len, and they do a war game chat. Number 74, war game companies we wish still existed. Mo of Mo's Game Table has three videos out. One of them is called 1914 Deluxe Hell Unleashed from the War Diary. Pre, it's a preview from the magazine. Plus, Carrier Battles, Philippine Sea from Compass Games, a preview, and the Doomsday Project Episode 2, The Battle for the Balkans from Compass Games on Mo's Game Table. Talking about Compass Games, Compass Games, and John Krantz are back with their live Town Hall Games episode number 63. Hexes and Soldiers, AJ Toynbee, Shake and Break Learning Module. He's seriously into this miniature stuff. He hasn't painted them. I, I, I don't know if I will paint that. Yeah, I don't know. On Hexes and Soldiers. Cody of the Discriminating Gamer has two videos out, and it's Cody's top 30 games of 2022, numbers 30 to 21, and Hegemony, 
lead your class to victory on the discriminating gamer the one and only stuka joe has three live videos out and it's Sunday Night Bomb Run, The Russian Campaign, 5th Deluxe Edition, plus The Russian Campaign, Deluxe 5th Edition, Life Turn Number 1, and Live Access Turn Number 2 on Stuka Joe. If you've noticed that the, uh, the lights uh, have gone down yet, yeah, the sun's dying. So, break out. Kalismar. Hmm, long time this guy, man. This guy's been around a long, long time. He's called a Lonesome Gamer, and he plays Europa Universalis parts 2 to 5 on Kalismar. The man famously known as Callendale Enrico Vigli. No, three videos out. Europa Universalis, Pop, 27, 31, and 32. Pop, can someone tell me what Pop is? The three times I've asked, nobody's commented. What's Pop? Population. Is that what that is? The gentlemen of the Farmer's Aid, the Player's Aid, obviously, do a co-op review. Warfighter World War II North Africa from DVG. An unboxing storm over Jerusalem, an MMP game. Plus, they review 1815, Scum of the Earth, Hall or Nothing. That's what it is, Hall or Nothing, on the Player's Aid. The man who's the other territory, Ontario, Gilbert Collins, is taking a look at Imperium Romanum 3, Game Simulation or Master's Thesis. Ah, because that's what we want to play, is a master's thesis. Hello all! Today, Kilroy goes off the shelf and onto his table with my weekly update. I started off Sunday, Sanctuary Sunday, Easter Sunday, with coverage of The Mission from Ben Madison and White Dog Games, covering the development of Christianity in its early stages. Uh, then I went into Mrs. Thatcher's War, another Ben Madison game and White Dog game and Solitaire game uh, covering the Falkland Islands War. Then I covered several uh, postcard games from LPS Inc. or Against the Odds magazines, with uh, Lagarde Recule, which is a Napoleonic uh, game on the Battle of Waterloo, The Union Forever, which is a strategic game on the American Civil War, and Operation Cerebrus, which is a naval game in World War II. Also covered uh, the Battle of Shiloh, or and a discussion of the Battle of Shiloh, and an unboxing of Shiloh from Worthington Games. Thanks all for stopping by. Dan needs a video, Dan needs a video. Oh my God, hey, Cup of Joe. I don't got time for coffee. Another week, another show. We're approaching our sixth year in just a couple of episodes. And I'm glad this week is over. I was nine days without a without any banking. I couldn't use my Visa card, nothing. It's finally over. I think the stress of it all is hitting me. And I'm glad the lights aren't on because I don't look pretty like I usually do. And um, what was I going to say? Yeah, finally lifted. And um, what was I, I, I was going to say something else for God's sake. Anyways, I can finally use my banking. Um... And it was their mistake, for God's sakes, man. Nine days, and I was on the phone, sincerely, two eight-hour days. And, and today, I stopped being on the phone around four. And it's hitting me now, as I'm telling you, and it's hitting me right in the eyes. So, 
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and if you so wish, donate to this channel. Um, I will see you next week, and be nice. Be nice. You know what I'm saying? I did not once swear on the telephone to anybody. Because those morons from the, the, the Quebec Revenue, they don't talk to each other. That's all. That's all. Have a good one. Sit by a fireplace, smoke a pipe, or whatever you do. But do it. I D Jester. Do it. Hello all!